Welcome to The Daily Digital. I'm Kate Murray. Today's topic is all about digital courses. In this video, you will learn why it's so important to build a digital course yourself on your own website and not align with a platform such as Udemy or Teachable. Make sure you stick around all the way to the end of the video because I'm going to give you two different options so that you can get your course up and running as quickly and efficiently as possible. When you're first thinking about creating your course and you just want to make some extra money, a quick solution like Udemy or Teachable seems like a good idea. After all, you have the special knowledge about your topic. You put a lot of effort into creating your course, filming the video, the voiceovers, the B-roll, and all the time to organize it. Thinking through the platform where you deliver your course and market it for sale can seem really scary and daunting, but it doesn't have to be, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But first, Pay close attention. This is the part that separates the people who make a six-figure income from their digital course from those who only make a few hundred dollars a year. The reality is, when you go for the quick and easy setup of the course with Udemy or Teachable, you're really limiting the amount of upside potential you have to actually build a thriving business. At this early stage, it may seem like personal branding of your course doesn't matter much to you. Also, because we now live in a day and age where people trust other people's recommendations more than they trust a brand's advertisement, you will lose the ability to build a real community around your topic unless you sell that course on your own website. Selling online courses is a smart business move, but my advice is to deliver your course using a platform such as Wishlist or ClickFunnels. There are two fundamental differences between using these platforms. Wishlist is an elite plugin for your WordPress website. It provides a ton of flexibility in terms of having complete control over your course. It allows you to drip content, which means release it on a specific schedule, such as one lesson a day, one lesson a week for a set number of weeks, or provide access to all the lessons at one time. You can also create multiple courses on the same website. You can create membership subscriptions and visually match your theme and your brand. In addition, with a WordPress website, you can also simultaneously run an affiliate program of your very own. That means you get to keep all the profit from every sale you make, minus the affiliate commissions. Building a digital course that you host yourself on your WordPress website will cost a little bit of money up front for the plugins and the hosting, but ultimately it's the most flexible way to grow and scale your business. I know, I get it. You're building a course so you can make money, not spend money. But as I said before, it's the single difference between those who make a six-figure income and those who only make a few hundred dollars a year. I personally use both ClickFunnels and WordPress to deliver my digital courses. If you're new to online marketing or just getting started, I highly recommend ClickFunnels because it's less robust than WordPress, which makes it so much easier to use, and you still maintain complete control over your course, where you'll keep all the profits. Also, ClickFunnels allows you to integrate all the digital marketing techniques that go along with building your course, your brand, your community, and your business. The only drawback, which is actually very minor if you're just getting started, is that there's not as much flexibility as there is with WordPress. The drawback to WordPress, of course, is that it is quite robust, meaning accurately configuring all the plugins and integrations, you may need some help. But stay with me here for just another minute. As I mentioned, I've launched two digital courses. My starter course is how to build and market your digital course with ClickFunnels, and the other is my Spotlight course, how to build your online course business using WordPress and ClickFunnels. In these courses, I walk you through every step of building out your course, one at a time, with screen sharing so you can get everything right the first time. If you're interested in learning more, click on the link in the comments below. In summary, when you're working with no budget at all, or you don't have any desire to grow your own business out of it, then Udemy can get you some students, but I really truly believe that you'd be undervaluing yourself because you're spending so much time and effort into doing this why waste it on not even being able to grow your business? I hope you found this video helpful. And if you're thinking of starting a digital course, tell me about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.